Welcome to this introduction to the multi-span floor beam module in StruckHawk. To activate this module, click the sixth icon in the toolbar. This module allows you to design a beam using the simplicity of the floor beam module, yet having the ability to design beams with up to three spans, including cantilevers at either or both ends. On each span, you have the ability to have two different tributary widths. In addition, you can have a concentrated load or point load at each of the beam spans. StruckCalc automatically inserts default values for floor live loads and floor dead loads, as well as deflection criteria. At any time, you can change these values in the settings module of the program. Simply click the settings icon, click the options tab, and modify the values you wish to use. For deflections, click the deflection tab to make any desired changes. You can also modify how your printouts will be set up in the printer tab. Like the floor beam module, there's a checkbox option for area reduction should you wish to have a more efficient design. I will now provide a sample beam design in this module. I want to design a continuous beam with spans of 20 feet, 15 feet, plus a 6 foot cantilever. It is a residential floor beam, so I will leave the default values of 40 pounds per square foot live load and 15 pounds per square foot dead load. All spans are supporting joists that are 16 feet long, so each span will have a tributary width of 8 feet. At the end of the cantilever, I have placed a concentrated load of 2,000 pounds live load and 1,000 pounds dead load. I can verify the loading on this beam by clicking the loading diagram button on the navigation toolbar. Although I can use auto size to size this beam, I will choose to size this beam by trial and error. I will click the design button on the toolbar and try a glue lamb beam. I will first try a 5 and an eighth beam with the initial trial depth of 15 inches. Then I will hit the calculate button. I find that this beam is not adequate as the minimum depth required is 18.64 inches. I will increase my depth to 19.5 inches. I again hit the calculate button and find this beam is now adequate. You can look at the shear, moment, and deflection diagrams by clicking the VMD button. When performing calculations in all of the multi-span modules in StrutCalc, it checks all the different combinations of live load, dead load, and determines which combination creates the most severe load condition based on shear, moment, and deflection. You can check any of the possible load cases by clicking the desired load case in this drop down box. That concludes this quick review of the multi span floor beam module. Thank you for watching this video.